when people are just putting the facade, all the good, you know, nobody wants to see that story. Nobody wants to see a movie that has no conflict, a play that has no conflict, a show that has no conflict. And, and people don't generally, you're, it's hard to get close to a person who doesn't share any of their conflict. If you've got something, let it rip. I'm never gonna do this again. Everybody grapples with this idea that you're really a fraud. Like I'm alive. And that's when it clicked with me. And I thought, these are not superheroes. These are just men that can do super things. Welcome back to Monday Morsels, the mini version of 10,000 No's. I'm Matthew Del Negro, and the following clip is raw and unscripted. It's a real world problem solving conversation with one of the members of our 10,000 No's Insiders community. But yeah, knowing that people have the in-between moments and yeah, so that's why I often, I, I put the more negative parts of my life in as well. Just I think that's a responsibility maybe these days, especially if people are taking social media at like face value that we've sort of all been duped into these days. But yeah. that's a whole other world, social media. Well, you, I think it's like putting a combination. So you're not just totally always cutting yourself off at the knees and you're not all you, you're also give yourself credit when credit is due. And then you can also mm -hmm. show the other side. I mean, that's, that's the, the point of 10,000 no's was to take these, the, these things that I found shameful and put them front and center. And the, you know, the upshot of doing that is if you, if you think about it, when when people are just putting the facade all the good you know nobody wants to see that story nobody wants to see a movie that has no conflict a play that has no conflict a show that has no conflict and and people don't generally you're it's hard to get close to a person who doesn't share any of their conflict you know there there's there's something to be said i mean i i feel like i don't Maybe it's a total coincidence. I don't think so. But from starting the podcast till now, I feel like it's been the best roles and projects that I've had. And I think more people know me better and have a link to me, like an actual emotional tie to me now because I've put it out there. And and it's not pretty. I mean, if you you know, you guys have listened to some of the podcast or you're here on the call, like it's not like it's all, you know, roses. I mean, it's it's like a lot, but I but I think people want to hook it, they want to see the humanity in you. And part of humanity, as we talk about here, is showing the nose, showing that that you went in for this writing job and you wanted it and you didn't get it. Yeah, that's that's tough, but it also, um, it also it makes pe we're, people are cheering for you. People want to see you succeed, knowing that you put yourself out there and and didn't get it. And um, you know, it's like you're not. I don't think the intent is to do it for sympathy, but it's to do it for a bit of transparency and you don't have to put your whole life by the way you don't have to put your whole life on social media like nobody you don't owe that to strangers but i do think it is it is uh i don't know i find it useful to put out a bit of a bit of everything you know it's like yeah things are things are really good right now and there's also things that you know could be worked on and i think that applies to all of us almost all the time, maybe all the time, like things are good. There's there are things to be grateful for. There's always something to be grateful for. And there's also always something that could be improved. And, and they happen simultaneously. And I don't think, I don't think by um, admitting or stating or whatever that things could be improved that it's being ungrateful but i think you i think you can have both i think it's actually healthy to have both because if you're always going like oh, everything's terrible and i wish i was better at this and i wish i could you know i was stronger and i wish i i you know worked as much as that person and did this whatever it might be 
if you're always doing that, th th there's no gratitude for what you do have. And if you're grateful, you can be grateful for everything, but if you're not acknowledging there are things that could be improved, I also think that that's not necessarily um, healthy because I just don't know if that's like, if you're, if you're self assessing to the point that you, that you could, that could, that could actually help you. All right. That is it. Now, obviously you can just take what was said and apply it to your own life. But if you like what you heard so much that you want to find out how you can become a part of this community, just click the link for 10,000 knows insiders in the show notes or visit 10,000 knows.com and check out more details there. If you feel like this helped you, please consider helping us by rating, reviewing, and subscribing to the podcast. Or if you're watching on YouTube, by liking this video, subscribing to our channel, and dropping a comment below. We appreciate it and have a great week.